What's up guys? So today we're starting a little bit of aftermarket work on my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE. So I have some diode dynamic um, reflectors. I don't know if that's what they're called. They're the little side piece markers over here. Those orange things, I got some cleared out ones. They're gonna look a lot nicer with the white paint. I also got some of the Drake Muscle canards that just came out. I've been waiting for them to come out for like seven months now. I'm so excited to throw those on. I have my shop assistant, Michaela, with me here to help me today, mostly hold the camera. So yeah, let's get started and throw this on. Are these identical? Oh no, okay. Each one only goes into one spot, I think. All right, so I popped up both the top and the bottom clip behind this fender liner. It's not hard to get under. It's a fender liner or a wheel well liner? I'm asking the wrong I like person. It's both. I don't know. <laughs> what does it say here? Fender liner, okay, I was right, it's fender liner. I should not be the one to be making instructional videos. I don't even know what I'm doing this so. Okay, so this came out of here, right? So now this is gonna go into here. It took me a while to figure that out. You're supposed to take the bulb out of the original um, light and then, yeah. So. so that took a little bit of work. This is actually really tight to get in there. But once it's in there, um, also make sure you have the right one because I almost put a red one on the front. There's supposed to be the amber ones on the front. So we're gonna pop this back in. And before putting it back in all the way, I'm just gonna unlock the car to make sure that it is in fact working. But that one's on. It doesn't appear to be working. Seriously, so the back one's lit up. I can't tell. Oh, it's working. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it is in fact working, so we can pop it back in now. Like so. Boom. Wow, that looks nice. That's so much cleaner than a stock one. I like it. Shut I like it, it Picasso. Oh, I like it, Picasso. <laughs> now the hard part comes, because now we're going to throw on the canard uh, by Drake Muscle. And I, I'm one of the first people to have these, because I literally got them the day that they were released. So there's no tutorials on how to do this online, so I'm completely figuring this out for myself, which I should never be doing because I'm terrible at figuring things out myself. I'm pretty sure this is actually the wrong side. I was right. Okay, so it hangs in like... No, wait, hold up. There we go, okay. It's gonna hang in like that. And it's gonna look a little something like that when it's all said and done. So, it's probably gonna be a pain, but we're gonna throw it in right now. It's a good thing you got me this Torx bit set for uh, my birthday because otherwise we'd be stuck at step zero right now. Okay, so for the canard, I had to pull this back and there was a um, seven millimeter bolt that was going in right there that I had to take out. So now we can effectively pull this portion away just like that, perfect. Okay, I got really worried. I just found the hardware that came with the canards because it was hiding underneath that little fold in the box. I was really worried I was gonna have to call the company and not be able to do this today. Okay, so now we have this anchor piece here that we're gonna mount onto this portion. It's gonna dangle off the side, that way we have something to actually mount the canard onto the body panel with. Okay, so we got this piece in. It doesn't seem to wanna get completely flush, but uh, we'll see how it looks when it's done. And then I put the seven, seven millimeter bolt back in there. Uh, just to hang out for a little bit. We're gonna adjust it later, so just make it finger tight. All right, a few steps later, and I have the dive plane in place. Very hard to get it lined up exactly. I had to actually take the anchor back out and realign it. It should be flush with the side or else you're not gonna be able to get it in. But I gotta hurry up and get that side done now because yeah, it's kind of time sensitive. So onto that now. Okay, so that one's officially on. It looks pretty badass, I mean, wow. That totally transforms the debatable front look of these 2021 or 2020 and up Camaros. Wow, that looks really nice. So I might have messed up. I'm not really sure. It wasn't exactly lining up 100%. I probably did that wrong uh, when I put this in. Probably had to, to be like a few inches or like an inch further back. So what I just did was they came, uh, well, they gave you some extra adhesive and I just stuck it onto right here and then applied this one here because this one was not gonna make contact, so. It went on just fine and it's gonna stay on, so it looks good. 
Okay, so everything is now back in place under here. Um, I just realized you guys got a perfect view of my terrible car brash. Um, but it's okay because I can actually get this fixed for free at any Chevy dealership because I purchased a wheel warranty for only $500 when I got this thing. And you can see how dirty my car is. Wow. But like I said, everything's back in place. Um, I'm putting these Torx bits in, or these Torx nuts, whatever the frick they're called, back in. Um, and then this side is effectively done, completely done. It looks really nice. I love it. All right, so it's the next day because we finished the job yesterday and we ran out of daylight. Uh, but I did get both the front reflectors on and both the canards. So let's take a look at that right now. So they actually look really good. I love the way that these look on the 2019 and up front ends. I did need to run to the store to get some extra uh, double-sided tape because it wasn't sticking on right. I think it might be because it's angled a little incorrectly. I think this anchor piece right here might have to be a little further back, but it was kind of difficult to get it in right. Um, that's something that could be improved, but maybe I just had to fiddle with them more. I don't know, I could always adjust it if I need to. I have more tape, but for right now, I think they look pretty dang good. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the rear reflectors on this thing, which should be a lot easier. I do have this piece back here, if you follow me. It's to protect the fender from rock chips and all that stuff because the 1LEs have wider tires, so they do fling rocks at the paint. So I'm gonna have to take this out probably in order to do that, but it's just one extra step, one small thing. What damage could it do? What damage could we do? Turns out a lot of damage. I break a lot of shit. There's no clearance between the end of this ratchet and the tire, actually. It is literally touching when it's all the way in the torque screw. Why don't you tighten it a little I bit? Can't swipe it. I can't switch it over to the tighten them. <laughs> Fuck. That's not good. Oh, that's so bad. If only we had a lift. I mean, yeah, that would help. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Give me that really quick. I wanna show them, look at this. That's the screw that's coming out, and I've literally got it all the way up to the tire, and I can't. It's stuck. Won't come out. This is, this is a pretty bad experience overall. <laughs> well, you just have the one at least, so you have bigger freaking tires. That's true. If you have a standard SS, this probably won't be an issue, or anything less than an SS with smaller tires, but these giant 305s are getting in the way, not to mention the one at least is a little bit lower, so it's closer to the fender, which gives me even less room. And then these things on top of it, so it's the perfect storm to make this difficult process. Keep your finger behind the ratchet when you do this, if you have the same issue I have. That way you won't get it literally stuck, because you know if your finger starts to rub against the tire, you're getting pretty close. You should probably stop. These are glued. These are glued on. I'm not getting these out. That makes this impossible, actually. Okay, I got the top clip out. No fucking idea how I'm gonna get the bottom one. I don't know how I'm gonna do the bottom one. Oh, okay. There we go. How am I gonna get that back? No way. But I was able to peel the fender liner out. I may be in trouble when I have to get it back in, though, so. This is why you should just get as few parts installed from the factory. Because when they install them, they install them like they're never gonna come off. Okay, so getting these clips out was a huge pain. First of all, you're gonna need tiny hands just to get in there. And then when you do, these clips are like extremely strong, at least the bottom one was, but finally got them out so we can follow the, st the same steps from the front ones to replace these. Turn on the lights to make sure it's actually plugged in the right way. Your whole boat was just in the frame. That's okay, we'll censor it. <laughs> That's sick. That is sick, come here. Look at that. Beauty. That looks so cool in person. It's such a bright, deep red. All that's left to do, pop her on in. Goes in a lot easier than it comes out, yeah. That looks really, really cool. That completely changes the look. I love it. All right, so now all we gotta do is close this up and uh, do the other side. Okay. What? You didn't tell me to stop recording. I know, you're recording so high. <laughs> Cause you're so high. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> now this is gonna be really annoying because I have to get this fender liner back under, but frankly it might just be impossible. 
I, I try not to exaggerate, but this may literally be impossible to do. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna go in quite exactly the way it was. On the next. All right, everything is back in place. Um, I wasn't able to get the fender liner completely back the way it was. It would have just been impossible to squeeze it uh, between this and this, the fender guard thing and then the actual fender itself. It just wouldn't have fit in between those two. So it's just a little off kilter, but it looks fine to me. Aside from my car being dirty, it looks great. It really does look good. It just matches the vibe of the car being all black and white, so I love it. What's going on, guys? As you can assume, again, we ran out of daylight, so it is the day after. The canards so far have been doing great. This one did fall off because I was using the weaker tape, but I, I got some outdoor extreme strength 3M tape, um, and I put that one on, and I also adjusted it a little bit lower because I kind of put them like a half inch too high, I realized, um, and now it's staying on just fine, so hopefully it continues to stay that way. Um, I stress tested them pretty well. It was 70 degrees yesterday, which isn't that hot, but they held up to the heat yesterday being parked outside all day. I've driven at speeds over 100 miles an hour for a good amount of time, and these are staying on just fine. So yeah, the heat's not an issue, the speed's not an issue. So the only thing that really was an issue was the rain, because the rain did cause that adhesive to come apart. But now with the Outdoor Extreme Strength one, it's doing just fine. Same thing with this one, again, just fine. That one hasn't budged at all. Uh, I kind of hope it does because again, I do want to lower this like half an inch down because it is a little too high. So overall, these weren't too bad to install at all. I think altogether it took about five hours to do. I don't have that much experience, you know, modifying cars and all that stuff. This is only the second car I've ever had that I've really modified. Actually the third because I have the Jeep over there too. And I had my Mustang before this. But, you know, I don't have that much experience. I'm not the best at doing this. So if you do this often and you are used to doing this kind of thing, you could probably get it done in like three hours tops. I'm very happy with the look of the canards. I think honestly, they really complete the look of this. I was at a car meet last night and I got like a bunch of compliments on the look of this because let's admit it, they look fantastic. My only complaint was it was pretty hard to get them to fit properly. And I still don't think I got them to fit properly based on the fact that the tape strip that is attached to them wasn't making contact with the bumper of my car. But I was able to get around that just by using tape that I got at Home Depot, so it works just fine now. I'm not really sure why they didn't put a second anchor point, like, right here, under this component right here. Um, I feel like that would have kept it in a lot better than using tape, but, you know, they do this stuff as a profession, not me, so they probably know better than I do. The weather finally warmed up up here in Long Island, New York, so I'm actually going to get this thing washed tomorrow, so hopefully I have some pictures to throw in this video of this thing not looking disgusting, but that's my bad. That's a disturbance. Sorry, I should specify that five hour figure that I gave, that was for the canards and the reflectors all together. That was for everything that we were doing in this video, not just the canards. So obviously it'll be less time for the canards. About the reflectors, they look fantastic. I definitely made the right choice by getting the clear ones. I was originally gonna go black, um, like the smoked out ones, but then I was like, I have a white car, why would I get it? black it would stand out just as bad it would just be a different color you know, the whole point is i don't like them standing out because for some reason um chevy is like one of the few brands that hasn't integrated the reflector into the light housing you know the mustang does that my 20 year old jeep does that so i don't know why they don't do that because it just stands out like a sore thumb when you have the reflector in the fender i really like how that turned out it definitely hides it a lot better um and when they're on, especially, those LEDs look so much better than the bulbs that it comes with. It really just ties together the look of the whole car because I'm going for that black on white kind of thing. Um, and we're getting very close to getting that black on white thing. The only thing I really have to do is take off those fender badges that come with the car because those have chrome and I do not like chrome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through this process. Um, getting back into this YouTube thing after a few years of a hiatus, so. Um, who knows, maybe I'll stick with it, maybe not. Although I kind of feel like I will because I enjoyed it, so why not? Go follow my TikTok and Instagram. I post daily on both of those, so you got plenty of fresh content coming on there. Don't forget, if you guys want, you can get your Clutch Killers merch. We have plenty of great things. T-shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve. You got hoodies. You got a face mask. You still want to wear a mask. I'm not judging. But seriously, I had a ton of fun making this, guys, so I will come out with some more videos soon. Uh, give me a like and a subscribe if you want to support the channel and everything I'm doing here. I'll see you guys on the next one.